I got the juice, juice. What's up? You're watching Still Got the Juice TV, and our featured guest today, my Tilly Raya. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Shout out to me for giving it right. I love <laughs> your name. Thank <laughs> you. I love your name. It's so cute. <laughs> so, welcome to Still Got the Juice. What brings you here? I've been getting traction. I'm here. I've been working on my artistry journey for the last two years just dropped a single with kyle rich so wait 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 can you said that a little too quick <laughs> oh, for me you just dropped a it's, single with kyle rich uh-huh have you on it let's yes. talk about it let's talk about it <laughs> how'd you get how do you guys work together how do we work together yeah like how'd you get that how do you get that feature let's <laughs> i'll let you in on a little secret just a little bit um it was honestly such an unexpected surprise and I've been a big fan of Kyle for a while now as we a lot of us have mm -hmm. and uh, our managers just talked and it was such an organic collab and things just happen. Yeah, I feel like he's like the best person to put on you. <laughs> it just sounds perfect. He is, he is. It came out great. All right, so let's tap into you. Mm -hmm. Who else would you like to work with in the future? In the future, in the future, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's so many people. I I don't even know where to start. I would love to work one day with like Travis Scott. What? Let's or do like it. Tate McRae or Ariana Grande. What? Those are like big dreams, but like no, it's not a big dream. <laughs> we're manifesting today because it's gonna happen. Yeah, we'll see. So. Okay, this is my curious question because mm -hmm. I got into your latest project titled after your name. Yeah. My favorite song was Get Back to You. Okay. What's your favorite song in that project? I know I'm taking it way back uh -huh. in December. <laughs> it's not too long. Yeah. Just a few months ago. Mm -hmm. I would have to say Miss Ya. Mmm. Yeah. I know your ethnicity is that you're Indian. Yeah. And you incorporate that in a lot of your production. How do you get that down? And would you incorporate it in your lyrics in the future? I definitely would. Something that I would love to do at one point would be like, you know, throw in like some Hindi. I feel like that'd be super cool. I'm waiting for it. So that would be, <laughs> we've thrown in some elements like heavy on it has a sitar and the tabla. So some of the Indian stuff has been in there, but I really want to dive deeper. I hear sometimes you do like ad libs that kind of sound like you're, I don't know if I'm missing it, but I, I don't mm -hmm. know what it's called. But I'm just like, okay, this sounds like very much Indian, I guess you could say. I love that. Thank you. I want to know what made you get into music in the first place, because you also dance. Mm -hmm, I dance. Okay, so I want to know <laughs> what made you get into music, though. I, it's been so many things over the, like, 20 years of my life. I think it definitely started with my parents' love for music. Um, when I was growing up, every weekend, it was like a tradition where my parents would blast music on the speakers and wake us, me and my brother up. So it was either like 70s and 80s rock and roll or it was like Bollywood music or like current pop music is like trivia, like every single weekend. Like you couldn't guess like what was gonna wake you up. So it was always integrated into my life. We wanna be in that house. <laughs> come join me. <laughs> we wanna come over. <laughs> you can, anytime. Okay, you said 20 years, so you're still quite young. Oh, thank you. Thank you yeah, so like early 20. Okay. Yeah, just 10, 20, three months ago. What's the title of the chapter of your life right now? Oh, that's a good one. Discovering who I am. Who's Matilli? Mmm. I like that. Oh, thank you. We're going to get to a fun, fun segment that um, we titled Spit It Out. Okay. I'm going to put our timer on for, put the timer on for a minute and 30 oh, no. seconds. <laughs> I'm going to say rapid questions and we're going to Okay, hit them. Got it. <laughs> okay. You got a plane ticket and you're only going one way, but where are you going to go? New Zealand. What? What was your dream job as a kid? Veterinarian. Whew. If you could switch bodies with any celebrity, who would you switch with right Ariana now? Grande. Me too. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't accept that. Celebrity crush. Justin Bieber. What? What? Uh, okay, wait, there's more, there's more. 
I'm, just, I'm there's a list. We should wrap the fire. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. What's the worst horoscope sign in your opinion? Um, 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 oh, I forgot. Gemini. Me too. Oh, okay, I think everybody's. What does, your, what does your name mean? It's princess and it's a goddess in the Indian mythology, Sita. And there's also like a kingdom named after me in a language, so basically everything. I love that. <laughs> What's one way someone can impress you? Um, mm, being funny and kind. Just simple things. You love kindness. Okay. <laughs> One song that has been stuck in your head. Unavailable by DeVito and Music Keys. On repeat, I'm not even kidding. What's a risk you're willing to take for your career? Hmm. Just do any, okay, not anything, not anything. But like, wow. Oh no, I don't oh. know. I don't know. This is bad. I don't know. It's okay. Good next one. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. Ah, that was good. That, that was, was good. Really good. Okay, now we can take a breath. Oh. Take a breath. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so it's been a blast having a conversation with you, and I am actually looking forward to what you do next. Can you give us a little, you know, an idea of what you have going on within the next four months? I'm working on my next single. So hooray! I don't want to give too much away. It's still a work in the progress, but it's more. Afrobeatish, and my vocals are definitely softer, and it's different, but it's gonna be fun. Here for it. So thank you. Last but not least, tell us why you still got the jewels. I'm up and coming, and I feel like all my music that I put out shows that I'm very versatile. So like, you know, I've had like some more pop type of songs, but R&B, now we've got like a little hip hop, some my rap, so we can do anything we want. Period. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Matili Rael. And we out. And it's a wrap. Yeah.